Hi everybody, I hope your Monday is going awesome. If this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, first of all, my name is Nick Comstock, welcome. Second of all, if you would do me the honor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would greatly appreciate it. When you subscribe, make sure you hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, you guys, today I want to tell you about something that I have been struggling with on top of the pandemic and on top of, you know, my depression. And the reason the video is called The Wheelchair from Hell is because I literally have the wheelchair from hell. Um, now, you guys are probably out there saying, well, Nick, you should at least be grateful that you have a wheelchair. I am. But that doesn't stop it from being the wheelchair from hell. And for all of you who like to come up to me and say, man, I would love to have a wheelchair like yours. Man, I just wish I had a wheelchair to sit down in. Uh, hopefully, this will change your mind after, that, after this story. And if you ever want to come sit down in my wheelchair, let me know and I'll get up. Oh, wait, I can't. Um, so... <laughs> So let me tell you this story. So back in May 2018, and oh, by the way, there may be two parts, but I'm going to try to cram, cram it all in one part. But there may be two parts, so you may have to come back tomorrow uh, for the second part. Well, you need to come back tomorrow anyway, because I'm here every day. But anyway, um, so back in May 2018, I got the wheelchair that I'm sitting in now. And uh, I didn't move to Columbus until August of 2019. When I did, uh, my company that provides my services, they have people there that deal with all the clients, wheelchair equipment, bed equipment, everything like that. Well, the person that deals with all that stuff said to me, you know, Nick, you can't really sit up in this chair. You don't really have any lateral supports. Your chair doesn't look big enough for you. Um, you know, why don't you go get seen at the wheelchair clinic? The wheelchair clinic is a wonderful place here in Columbus. Um, it's actually ran by the Ohio State University Hospital. It's actually a department of the um, Ohio State University Hospital. It's called Morehouse and Assistive Technology they also call it um, the wheelchair clinic. So I said, all right, cool. So I go and I meet with these wonderful folks. They all have wonderful therapists there. And there's a wonderful doctor there that all he does is focus his entire career on getting people the best wheelchair modifications that they need, the best bed modifications that they need, all that. I love this doctor to death. And so I went to see him and I said, you know, and this is before we knew that the world was going to turn on its head. And I said, you know, hey, doc, I'm going to be a public speaker. I'm down at the state house a lot. I'm all, you know, I'm doing all these things. And I had noticed at an event that I was at that an individual in a wheelchair had their wheelchair go all the way completely flat, almost like a bed, kind of, sort of. And I said, oh, well, that's neat. And my team at the time said, well, you know, that's almost kind of what you need. So I was trying to base it off that. And because I said, you know, Doc, I'm doing all the stuff, and, and, you know, there's not really a good place for me to do personal care in public. So if I can figure out a way to do personal care in my chair, that would be great. So he said, great, you know, I'll suggest all these modifications you, you, you need and we'll go from there. Well, we got the approval from the insurance company for the modifications. Now keep in mind, um, before I go any further in this story, for those of you who don't know anything about wheelchairs, when you order a wheelchair and insurance pays for it, especially Medicaid, you can't get another wheelchair for five years. All you can continue to do is keep preparing and add stuff away, take new stuff, and, you know, and 
And so I'm stuck with this chair for five years. And um, so I said, you know, so we got the approval for the uh, modifications. And my wheelchair company, who shall remain nameless, um, was, was there. And they said, okay, Nick, once we get these modifications into our office, we'll come pick up your chair. You'll only be without your chair for 24 hours. We'll loan you a chair. And then it'll be done. You'll have your modifications. It'll be great. Well, little did I know that this was going to become one of the biggest pain in my butts that I've ever had to deal with. And I say my butts because I have two buttons. Anyway, so this was going to be, this was going to become the biggest pain in my butt. And literally did I, did I not know this until... I got head first thrown into this. So they said, you'll have your chair back within 24 hours. So I said, okay, good. So the wheelchair company comes and they pick up the chair. And then I get a call from the person who suggested that I do all this in the first place. And they said, Nick, your wheelchair company just called me and they said that your, uh, your chair is not going to be done within the 24 hours they said it was going to be done. Well, um, I was like, okay. And then let me back up and say that this person that called me and told me this also told me to cancel my wheelchair loaner for my wheelchair company because she said that they had no good loaners and she could find me a better loaner chair. Come to find out, she ended up giving me a manual chair, which is horrible because I don't have good trunk control. So when she called me and said, hey, your wheelchair company is not going to be able to have your chair done within the 24 hours that they said they were going to have it, I called my wheelchair company and I said, look, I know I canceled the loaner, but don't listen to anything that this chick is telling you anymore. Listen to what I'm telling you. I need a loaner. So they were graciously enough to get me a loaner. Little did I know that 24 hour period, it was supposed to be done by then Monday. It was sp supposed to be done by Monday. <clears throat> I got my chair picked up on a Friday and it was supposed to be done on a Monday. Well, that turned into one week. Then one week turned into two weeks. And then two weeks turned into three weeks. And then three weeks turned into four weeks. And then four weeks turned into five weeks. Five weeks, ladies and gentlemen. I was without my chair. Now, keep in mind, I did have a loaner, and I'm glad that I called and got a power chair loaner, because if I didn't, I would have been screwed from the very beginning. So, then, you know, they call me and they say, Nick, we're so sorry, we ordered the wrong parts, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, that's okay, it's fine, they'll order the right parts and get it, you know, to me as quick as they can. Then they call me again and they're like, we ordered the wrong parts. Second time in a row. And by the, you know, I try to be nice as pie because you can't like burn your bridges. I mean, you, you, you just can't. And so needless to say, I get my chair back within five weeks with them ordering the wrong parts, not once, but twice. And now it has become such a difficult thing. I can't recline all the way back flat to do personal care. I have to tilt my chair. Tilt and recline are two different things. I have to tilt my chair uh, back in order to keep my pedals from consistently dragging. The modifications were super expensive. My chair is now worth up to $28,000. When I think I got it, it was like twenty five. dollars So I think they did um, $3,000 worth of modifications on it. I don't know. I'm really bad at math. But um, 
So, I mean, but now I'm having all these problems with my chair. My backrest likes to break and crack and pop and do all these things. And my leg rest, I have power leg rest now where I can lift them up and down, but I constantly have to lift them up and down because then my chair scratches my hardwood floor and, you know, it's just, it's, it's just been crazy. And to top this all off, I said it was going to be in two parts, but we're at 1034, so I think we're good. I said it was going to be in two parts, but it's not. So then, to top this all off, now my wheelchair's not charging. And so now I've got to go back to them on Wednesday, December 30th, and say, look, my wheelchair's not charging. They just put batteries in it on October 6th and gave me a new charger. Plus, they've got to give me a new joystick now because my joystick likes to come off and it's actually being held on by electrical tape the driving knob that i used to drive my chair is being held on by electrical tape so it's just been the wheelchair from hell like i said and to top this all off remember i told you about that lady from my company who gives my who who uh who helps with all the durable medical equipment yeah, I'm not working with her anymore because she basically had the audacity to tell me that my chair, the reason my chair is the way it is, is because it's my fault. So, because I should have listened to her <clears throat> and she could have got me a new chair and all this stuff. And I'm going, lady, please don't make me slap you. I mean, we we were in the wheelchair clinic just a couple of weeks ago together, and she actually said to me, it's because of you people that are always on the phone, and you like to put too many hands in the cookie jar, and blah, blah, blah. This is the way, this is the reason your chair is the way it is. So yeah, bye, Felicia. I'm not working with you anymore. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that it's just been a crazy, crazy, um, one year with my wheelchair. And for those of you who like to say that, oh, I would love to have a wheelchair like yours and it would be awesome. And I would just love to have a wheelchair to sit down and yeah, that's, that's crap. Um, yeah, let me give you my wheelchair to sit down and hold on. Let me get up. Oh, wait, I can't. Sorry. I think I did that joke earlier, but I it's worth repeating. But anyway, I just wanted to say that it's been a crazy... I have the wheelchair from hell. Hopefully, it'll get better soon. I have to go back to the wheelchair clinic, and we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, my wheelchair and I are not best friends. I'll put it to you that way. I will see you guys tomorrow. And, uh, oh, just in case you're wondering who opened my door in the middle of my video just a couple minutes ago, it was my staff. Um, so, but I've tried to tape this video like three or four times already and I'm getting a late start to my day and I didn't want to um, tape again. So I just let them walk in. But anyway, so, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and realize that being in a wheelchair is not all it's cracked up to be. Trust me. Anyway, but I will get through it like I always do with a smile on my face. See, I'm smiling. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.